Okay, in this video, we're gonna see how to deploy and scale a web app using Docker Cloud. The first thing we need to do is create a node cluster. We'll call this one vote and let's tag it as Azure and prod. Now what this will do is it'll apply both of these tags to each node that we put in the cluster. And this can be really powerful for things like targeted deployments. Well, no prizes for guessing. I'm going to host this node cluster in Azure. And we'll go with these Azure specific settings that I'm doing here. Though I tell you what, 60 gigs is off the charts for what I'm going to need. So we'll take it down to the minimum. And I think we'll have three of them. And off that goes deploying. Now, if we drill into things a bit, hit timeline here, then open up this deploy tab, we can see the deployment happening in real time. So just to be clear, this is instructing Azure to build three instances and load them up with the Docker engine and the Docker cloud client. In fact, we can see virtual machine events here. Anyway, that's gonna take a minute or two. All right, all done and deployed. And if we need to, we can grab this slider up here to easily scale the cluster up or down. But with our nodes ready, we can jump straight over to stacks. And remember, a stack is a collection of services or containers, yeah, that effectively make up an application. So think of the stack as the application. Well, we deploy stacks using a stack file, which if you know your Docker Compose is going to look familiar. Well, first of all, let's name it. Then I'll just paste the stack file in that I want to use. Right, we're defining four services here. The voting load balancer, the result service, the voting web front end service, and a Redis backend store service. Then within each, we describe it. Anyway, this target number of containers down here within the voting web front end service is going to give us three web front end containers. And we'll come back to this in a second. For now though, let's create and deploy. Again, the timeline up here shows us the detail. And right now, we can see image layers being downloaded, yeah? But if we come back to general, we get the big picture view. So the stack starting, and then we see the status of each of the four services. Okay, so that's our stack started. We see the same four services here that we had in our stack file, and they're all up. And then we can see the endpoints here that are exposed by our app. So if we hit this one here for the voting load balancer service endpoint, this is the front end to our app. And if we take note of this down here, okay, while I come and hit refresh a few times, see how it's cycling through one to three. Well, that's the three voting containers that we set down here in the stack file. And if we come and hit services up here, we can see three next to the container icon here. Great, but let's say traffic's gone up and we need more web containers to take care of it. Well, we just drill into the service here, slide the slider up top and hit scale. and see straight away these three new containers spinning up. Okay, well that didn't take long. If we come back over here and start hitting refresh. Right, we're starting to see some of the new containers getting used. So yeah, that's how easy it is to deploy and scale applications using Docker Cloud.